So moving on and recap of our video, that last point mentioned, this is important too when uh, batch processing or batch converting uh, multiple DTN files to DWG, you may not know what levels are in the respective files. So these settings will, in most cases, ensure that you get the desired results when saving your file from DGN to DWG in regards to the level. Now, merging our self-attached references, let's just go back over those options again. So, you know, copy levels during merge describes how levels are handled when you merge your references from the DGN file and to the DWG or DXF. So for our first option, if not found, this option, the levels from the references are merged into the output file only if they do not exist in the active model, or, and this includes levels with the same name. If override exists, this would be levels from the reference will be merged into the output file if the level does not exist in the active model, or if the settings for the active model levels are different from those of the attachment. Now, these differences can include overrides that have been applied to the attachment levels or differences between the levels that are defined in the active model and the reference. And then finally, always levels from the references are merged into the output file, even if the identical level exists within the active model. This is the setting that, when in doubt, I would recommend using because this will be a catch-all in case you don't know what levels because if you think of a file where you may have hundreds of levels in both your master and your reference files, there's not going to be a way for you to know if those levels are, in fact, duplicated or uh, even triplicated. So I want to keep that in mind. Now, if you uh, notice the option there to merge elements that are only on or levels that are only on, this is sometimes a good setting to use as well because it will only merge the elements that you are see on your screen and you can also set a variable to ensure that this setting is put into place and that's the ms merge displayed levels only and you will want to set that to a value of one and if you turn that or set that variable you will see that that option will automatically be turned on and it will be grayed out so that it cannot be changed during the translation process so once again for you site admins, you might want to set that variable to ensure that this setting is put into place. And this is really important when uh, maybe doing like a batch process of uh, files. So to recap, when merging a reference file, attention must be given to the level names in the master and the reference. While it may not be realized that in instances that these levels uh, may be the same when merging those levels, uh, keep in mind these on and off settings might be opposite from one another. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.